Here's a question. How is America's corn industry doing? We aren't growing quality. We're growing crap. Poorest quality crap the world's ever seen. We're growing it today. Okay. Recent college grad Kurt Ellis and his best buddy Ian Cheney are the heroes of the documentary King Corn. The villain? Well, corn. The premise behind the film is kind of ridiculous, uh, but also kind of simple. We knew next to nothing about the food we were eating every day. We had our hair tested and learned in the process that we were more than half corn. The actual carbon in our bodies was made up of corn products, high fructose corn syrup and corn fed meat. So we decided to grow that food, um, which as it turns out meant moving to Iowa and planting an acre of corn. So what's life like for the novice corn farmer? It was incredibly easy to be a corn farmer. Uh, it turns out the, the corn industry is like a lot of farming nowadays. It's highly industrialized. It took about two hours of actual labor over the course of a year, but we grew 10,000 pounds of food, uh, enough corn to sweeten 57,000 cans of soda. They treated their stalks with chemicals. Thanks to genetic modification and herbicides and fertilizer, you can grow an incredible quantity of food with very little labor. But the food is nutritionally worthless. So why go through all the trouble? Well, the pair wanted to see where their corn would end up. And we realized that our cornfield, as high fructose corn syrup, was making people sick. The, the statistics are, are brutal. One in three current first graders is destined to develop type 2 diabetes in their lifetimes, according to the CDC. All of us are feeling the implications of, of a diet rich in processed, high fat, high sugar foods. Why is this happening? Ellis blames government subsidies that encourage farmers to grow cheap corn. It's not that corn is in itself, you know, particularly unhealthy, but the things corn becomes, like high fructose corn syrup and corn-fed beef, are unhealthy for us. 